Look at those flock of birds out there. I don't know if you see that. Hello everyone, welcome back. It is uh, a hot day again. I spent the morning actually, uh, went and got breakfast for the kids of course, and uh, watered the grass in the morning. And uh, that took some time, so I mean, I'm leaving a little late, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm gonna ride out to uh, Probably one of my favorite spots now is uh, underneath that bridge with the tunnel where the uh, lake is. I get a nice cold breeze and uh, with the Flexi Freeze vest. I already used one panel this morning to water the grass. I'm using a different one to ride down uh, to pick up the food. And then after that, I'm actually going to go to UPS. I'm going to return one of the panels of the Flexi Freeze vest. I'm going to I already got a replacement coming in. It's just one of the uh, cubicles popped, or it, it came popped, so I'm actually returning it, getting a replacement, so. All right, battery's on. I aired up the tire, I lubed the chain. Oh yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, let's get going. There's no time pressure on me. All right, so I'm ready there, ATV. So I'm riding their ATV around here. Ooh. Oh, that breeze feels good, even though it's a hot breeze, but by the time it hits my chest, it's a cool breeze. So I'm gonna pedal. I noticed something. It takes a well, it seems like it takes longer if I use throttle only. I aired up the tires, I lubed the chain. So I think I'm good. Ugh, hot warm air. I think the brakes are still good, so I haven't adjusted the brakes yet, but uh, I probably should. I should check on them as well, make sure that they're still good. My rear tire is getting very low. Anyways, it doesn't matter. down right there at the blind corner. Who knows, you may have somebody driving the car, uh, the mowers, mowers coming in. Woo! Bumpy. Getting a good bump today. Oh, that tree is dead. <laughs> that tree drives a bone. Okay. No cars coming in front. No cars coming behind. All right. Okay, looking good, very satisfied with how things are going here. Oh, getting a nice warm breeze. I'm going to pedal because I travel faster. <laughs> the throttle only, I mean this is just a class 2 e-bike, alright, it's not a class 3. Some people try to make it a class 3. The only time I'll ever upgrade the bike is when the parts stop working. Other than that, there's really no reason for me to uh, to replace anything. It's kind of 
it's kind of foolish to buy a bike and then replace all the components before the parts even wear out. It just makes no sense. Anyways. But that's just my opinion. Originally I was thinking about like upgrading the rear hub and getting a new controller and all that stuff. But I realized something. If I pedal and strengthen my legs, I can go just as fast. Not all the time, but I can go just as fast. I've gone up to 40 miles an hour on this bike. Well, not on this bike, the Red Rover. Of course, a little, little tailwind, good momentum, and probably a slight downhill, but still, it's not impossible to go very fast on this bike. And you probably see me pass up cyclists. They can't keep up. They could probably uh, go just as fast, but they can't keep up. Especially when going up an upcline or incline, going slightly up a slope. It's, it's, uh, they can't keep up. So, the bike works fine just for me. Where, where I am. And plus it gives me good exercise. Why would I give up the exercise? And I noticed something. If I pedal, my butt doesn't get sore. That's, that's the other thing. My butt doesn't get sore when I start pedaling. Because I've, uh, I've, d I've done throttle only, especially on hot days. Ooh, when it's hot, I try to uh, not get over not get heat exhausted so I'll just throttle let the let the airflow cool me down with the flexi V flexi uh, vest uh, panels flexi freeze panels I should say so I usually leave around like 10 but uh, what I'm going to do is, because I had to water the grass, took up a lot of time, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the, uh, the tunnel where the lake is, and I get a nice cool breeze there, especially on hot days. Just The wind just funnels right underneath that tunnel, and, and with the water, the water being right there, it seems to have a cooling effect, and uh, it's underneath, I get shade. So that's where I'm gonna, that's where I'm headed. And I'm just gonna jet right there. I'm just gonna take the streets. The streets and sidewalks or whatever. So put some uh, lubricant on the chain. Let's just go through the gears. Those pedaling. Sounds good. I went off-roading and the chain's been going through all the uh, dry grass and it feels dry as a bone. Gosh, the vegetation's growing so quick. The vegetation's growing quickly around here. I gotta water the grass and the grass grows so fast. But if I don't water the grass, it's going to dry. It doesn't really die, but it just dries. It might die. That's the thing, it might die. I just don't want that. I don't want, your, I don't want the soil to get dry either, because then, then it starts moving, bulging. you got to water the yard. This whole week is going to be brutally hot. Probably have to cut the grass tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, or maybe I'll do it Friday. Uh, right hand turn. Oh, hot breeze, but it feels cool. 
hot, humid breeze. Oh. My back, my chest, my chest. I just, I was wearing uh, the quickie freeze in the morning while watering the grass, so I was, my, uh, my chest, my chest is already kind of like red from the ice panels. I just put on a new one, and man, they feel like they're, they got freezer burn, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna easily uh, heat up. Man, I can feel the heat on my arms. What are they doing? It looks like they're putting a sprinkler system or something around the edge here or something. Or electrical system. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Slowly over. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get back, but anyways, I'll figure something out. Might even have to go off-roading a little bit. All right, so slow down here. Learn my lesson the hard way. Learn the lesson the hard way. It is narrow, but it's not more. It's not any more narrow than uh, the sidewalk over here. Maybe, maybe, well, maybe by one foot narrow because of the pillars on the right side. So. I'll just take the sidewalk. I'll try not to go too fast. I don't see anybody. As as I don't see anyone. Now I'm gonna haul it. Maybe even cut through the grass. on the bike. Gotta watch out. Okay, they're gonna go down that way. All right. I don't like going down through that way. They got a bar in the middle of the uh, sidewalk. Handlebar. I don't think it's really safe, but she's on the slower bike, so she can go, uh, all right, a little, a little overcast, cloudy today, but hot, still hot, humid. So while I was oiling the chain, do a little jump here. While I was oiling the chain, oh, people with dogs, two people and the dog. So while I was oiling the chain, I put a little oil on the uh, on the stem. Of, I don't know if it's called the stem, but uh, the base of where the stem is, where it folds, because on mine. It, uh, got a red light here. So on the base of the uh, stem, is, uh, I might even, uh, I might take the streets. So the base of the stem is, uh, it squeaks. Oh, those are big tires on that truck. So the base of the stem, it squeaks. And, uh, the metal's rubbing in a weird way, so put some oil on that. Alleviate some of the squeaking noise that I hear. When I, uh, when I replay or edit the video, I can hear the squeaks and noises and all that. It's kind of interesting. I know when the chain is kind of dry or 
and lubrication is needed in certain parts. Wow, this really got, I'm, I got some headwood here. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm breathing. When you pedal, you got some head wet. Kind of need to breathe. I can breathe! Alright. Breathe in. Breathe out. Or, oh, I did it the wrong way. Breathe in. Ooh. Breathe out. There we go. Man, I got some head wet. I'm not gonna go around the turnaround. I'm gonna sneak in. Get it over here. I'm gonna go across the uh, crosswalk. Save myself some energy and time. A little bit faster. It is, it really is. Okay, no one's behind me. Hurry up. Okay. I feel like I'm going to the clubhouse. I almost am. Coming, a truck coming to my left. Yeah, when I'm pedaling, my butt does not get sore. I, I get a lot of movement, and I think that gives me a lot of blood flow. When you're just sitting down here on any type of seat, you, I, I think the uh, the pressure. You know, it doesn't give you any blood flow. So I'm, when I'm pedaling my legs, I'm moving my legs up and down, cycling through the pedals, it, getting blood flow and circulation. It's like, how to compare it to when you sit on a toilet too long. <laughs> you know, you get on a toilet too long, and all of a sudden your legs go numb, your butt goes numb, kind of like that. All right, take the sidewalk. Right here. There we are. Oh, it's dried. Yeah, it's dried just a little bit. Yeah, it's dried out here. Whew. See the water level has gone down. Probably about a foot. Fry, 
well, hot and sunny and all dried out and humid, if that makes sense. Oh, they got water. <laughs> they got the fountains going in here. I'll do a little off-roading. A lot of water right here. Let the fenders work for me. Hopefully not too muddy. That's a, that's a lot of water running off right there. Oh, middle of the day. Alright. If I want a little... When we get a little wet, I'll just go through there. Yeah, look at the... I can see the current just blowing out this way, so I know there's a lot of wind out here. Oh yeah, Ooh. oh yeah, really nice. See a flock of birds. Look at those flock of birds out there. I don't know if you see that. <laughs> Ducks, ducks. Anyways, I can see the curtain blowing in, so I got some air <coughs> blowing through here. Whew. Anyways, I'm turning the mic around. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Until next time. Bye.